Hello, this is Jasmine, and I recently got a comment on my old tutorial, Drawing a Wolf's Head in Profile, asking if I could do the same with more angles, and I'm happy to. This tutorial is about the wolf from a direct front view, but I'd love to do a tutorial on three-fourths and other views as well. So this will be a technical drawing, as in I use a lot of guidelines, so feel free to pause and work at your own pace if you need to. I also encourage you to check out my older video that I'll link below if you're interested in a profile view and a breakdown of my coloring process. The audio isn't the best, but the tips should still be useful. Art is really subjective, so if you aren't going for this exact look, by all means go ahead and change up the proportions and see what you like. Okay, so the first thing that I do is I make a rough circle and I mark it into quarters. I'll further place a line vertically down each half of the head. This will show me where to place the eyes. Two small circles make the eyes. Place them with the outer edges touching the line that you just made and add a small wedge shape in the lower corners for the tear duct area. Make another circular guide at the bottom, just a bit inside the vertical lines, and about two-thirds overlapping the main head, and this is the snout. Add a very flat, curved W shape for the mouth. Now you can box in the nose, which will generally take up about half of each side of your circle and two-thirds to the top. The shape is almost a circle or a very rounded square, uh, but two sides of it curl in uh, gently around for the holes of the nostril. Uh, understanding the shape of the nose with reference will help you a great deal. They're very strange. <laughs> okay, so at this point, you're almost done with the basic guidelines, but let's add the ears. The ears will be in the upper quadrants, starting from close to the bottom. We'll make a wedge shape that cuts into the base circle, leaving about the same amount of space at the top, and that comes to a point at a slight angle, roughly half the height of the head. The lower portion of the wedge will be a little more curved and longer. After this, a thick rounded shape will suggest the fur around and connecting to the neck. Remember not to make this too thin. The fur will start roughing out around the face near the base of the ears, and it generally tapers out around the jawline before blending into the fur below, but each wolf is a little different. After this, we're down to detailing. The ears are nestled into the fur of the face, so that fur comes in front, and the inner ear fur sweeps inwards on both sides. The fur around the ears is very, very short and tends to stick straight out. A small semicircle denotes the lower lip, while I use gently curved lines ending in ovals to show the mouth, which is tightly against the muzzle but just visible and ending slightly above the bottom of the head circle. I carve the eye into a slightly swept shape on top while keeping the roundness of the iris below, and I add fur markings here as well as on the muzzle and anywhere the fur changes direction dramatically and also in places to show overlapping depths. Finally, I clean up the lines and I turn them dark. Now I'm working with solid sketch and I can leave it as it is or I can color it later. If you're interested in seeing the coloring of this piece with like some in-depth advice, leave a like and a comment to let me know, as well as if you have any other tutorial suggestions. Please feel free to tag me on Twitter at Jasmine Zelmer or Instagram at Jay-Z Fantasy Art if you use this tutorial because I'd love to see it. And of course, all of my socials are down below. And thanks for stopping by.